My name is Derek Hawks. I'm the Utilities Director at Nash County. And what we're going to do today is this, what's called a fire flow test. So we are in the town of Nashville at the corner of Elm Street and Body Street. And this is not a county owned water system or fire hydrant. This is the town of Nashville. But we're actually doing this for a building project. We're looking at the, the new courthouse expansion. And one of the requirements is, is for a sprinkler system. So part of the design process, and this happens in, in many buildings, if you're gonna have a sprinkler system for larger buildings, is you have to do a fire flow test to determine the amount of uh, water or fire flow that the water system could support in the case of a fire. And then the design engineers, of course, would use those numbers to calculate uh, the size pipe and the size system that they need for the sprinkler system. The first thing we're gonna do is hook up a pressure gauge up the road. And that's the pressure gauge we're using. That's called our residual fire hydrant. This one is our flow hydrant. The town is going to first take off the blue nozzle that's on the side. That's the side connections that a fire department would normally connect to if they were to fight a fire. The knob on the top, a, a pentagon shaped nut there. So that's what we're gonna use with a, what's called a fire hydrant flow wrench. So we'll open up the hydrant and measure the amount of flow and the pressure that's coming through what's typically called the diffuser. So it, that's the measuring device. And we're gonna let it flow for probably 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Uh, basically just enough time for the system to stabilize for the residual hydrant which is up the road for us to get a good steady pressure reading on a flow condition and once we feel like we've gotten sufficient stable data we'll then shut the fire hydrant down and just let the system equalize we want to shut it down very slowly so we don't get what's called water hammer we don't want to shut it too quick and, and that surge of, of water can damage and, and increase pressure and damage part of the system. So it's, uh, there's a little bit of finesse to it, but uh, we're used to doing this all the time and um, it sh should go smoothly. So the results of the, the fire flow test were uh, we had a, a flow pressure of 29 PSI here at this fire hydrant with a static pressure of 69 PSI. So when the test started, we were at 69 PSI. We were flowing 29 PSI though, and that calculates to a flow of gallons per minute of 1,600 gallons a minute. That's a good, that's a good flow. We have a six inch water line down, uh, I think it's, I believe it's six inch down Body Street here. So there's a lot, of, uh, yeah, a lot of fire flow protection in this area. That's great for uh, the administration building, the jail, and what will be our a future expansion of our courthouse. The, the hydrant up the road had a static pressure, meaning no flow of 63.5, and during the flow, it dropped to 52 PSI. So there's still a lot of extra uh, capacity in that line that we could get, the, get to to get down to uh, typically like a 30 PSI is the minimum we want to get the system for fire flow purposes. So all in all, a good, good test and we're satisfied with the results.